Back from the Brink is one of the most ambitious conservation projects ever undertaken. Its aim is to save 20 species in England, all of whom are so close to going extinct. A big part of Back from the Brink is celebrating the wildlife that we have living all around us. So we have started a film and photography competition that anyone can enter. So watch this video to find out how to make your very own nature film. I'm here at Troopers Hill Nature Reserve in the city of Bristol and I'm here with wildlife cameraman Neil Aldridge who's going to be telling us how to make our very own nature film. We always try to film an animal doing something. Uh, so what I do is try to spend time watching and try to get an understanding of what my subject does and when it does it. And that also allows me to build up the characters. Filming is all about capturing what you need to edit. We need to think about shooting as wide as we possibly can, capturing the entire landscape all the way down to the smallest detail, really picking out those bits that we can't see with the naked eye and everything in between. And the same with shot angles as well, getting high and all the way down to ground level. So could I do all of that with my phone? Absolutely, you just have to get as close as you can and make the full use of your zoom and keep just varying up your shot angles. We want to think about how one shot leads to the next in the edit. So for example, making sure you've got the subject entering the frame and also leaving the frame. I'm using an entry level DSLR camera with a macro lens. So the key point about this kit is the tripod. Trust keeping the camera steady, keeping it level. And that's the first bit you want to think about when filming wildlife. While I'm out on site, I try and pick up some of the, the natural ambient sounds just to bring some atmosphere into my film. I actually find a really good way of doing that is by recording on my phone. I found that the microphone on my phone is better than that in my camera, but you do have to be really quiet. So I use a program called Premiere Pro, but there's also other different types of software that you can use for computers. Amazingly now, there are also apps that you can have on your phone, which also help you edit films. I hope you're feeling inspired and fired up to go up and get your cameras, your phones, and head out into the parks, your gardens, the ponds, looking down on the ground, up in the sky, and seeing what you can find. Remember, the deadline is the 30th of August. I can't wait to see what you've got. <laughs>